Hi, in this video, we'll view how to configure the communication parameters of the web interface to work on Webpack. We'll begin by logging into the web interface using Google Chrome. Once logged in, we're going to go ahead and click on the panels on the left side of the dashboard. We're going to go under host slash loop communication tab. We're going to go ahead and select when pack. Under the connection TCP IP settings, we we'll specify the physical connection between the host and the primary panel. If you're connecting from a host software system, such as Webpack, we need to select either direct via TCP IP or reverse TCP IP. We select direct via TCP IP if the host initiates connection to the panel. We select reverse TCP IP if the panel connects directly to the host system using the TCP IP protocol. If we select this option, you must enter the host IP address in the host IP address field. Panel initiates connection to a host. The communication type specifies the type of communication. ACNAC provides a response and a transmission between the host and the panel. This is the recommended communications type. Non-ACNAC does not provide a response in a transmission between the host and the panels, normally used in troubleshooting only. The host IP address is the IP address of the Webpack server, and it's only typed in if we select the reverse TCP IP under the connection type field. The port number specifies the port number of the Ethernet connection. Port number 2101 is set up if an encryption is going to be used. And port 3001 is selected if we do not select an encryption key. If an encryption key is going to be used, we can go ahead and leave the settings as they are and go ahead and click Save. And on the confirmation window, we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And now our panel is being configured to work on Webpack. If we're not going to use an encryption communication, we can go ahead and after we select save, go ahead and click disable encryption. It will pump up a warning message, which we can go ahead and hit OK. And then we can go ahead and click save. Now we have our panel set up to work on Webpack. 